Welcome to our latest video on the mysterious and anomalous SCP Foundation. Today, we'll be diving into a set of particularly intriguing entities, SCP-7290 through SCP-7294. These SCP objects possess unique abilities and characteristics that make them stand out among the others. These SCPs will leave you questioning the very nature of reality itself. So sit back, relax, and join us as we explore the unknown and uncover the secrets of SCP-7290 through SCP-7294. SCP-7290 is a humanoid creature standing at approximately 2.5 meters in height. Its body is covered in a thick layer of hair, and its limbs are elongated and disproportionate to its torso. The creature's face is hairy and features a wide, expressive mouth filled with rows of razor-sharp teeth. SCP-7290 has red and brown leathery skin with large, insect-like eyes. SCP-7290's anomalous property is its ability to manipulate and control the growth of plants. The creature is able to cause plants to grow at an accelerated rate, and can also manipulate the shape and size of the plants it controls. SCP-7290 is also able to control the movement of the plants, causing them to bend and twist to its will. This ability extends to all forms of plant life, including trees, shrubs, flowers, and even moss and algae. SCP-7290 was first discovered in a remote forest in California. The creature was found to be living among a dense thicket of plants that it had manipulated to form a crude shelter. When approached by Foundation personnel, SCP-7290 attempted to defend itself by causing the surrounding plants to attack. The creature was eventually subdued and taken into custody. SCP-7290 is highly intelligent and has demonstrated the ability to communicate. It has also shown a high level of curiosity and a desire to learn about the world around it. However, it has also displayed aggression towards humans, and is considered dangerous. SCP-7290 requires a large amount of space to contain, as it requires a constant supply of plant life to survive. Its containment chamber is kept at a constant temperature and humidity, and is filled with a variety of plants for SCP-7290 to manipulate. The creature is also provided with a small amount of soil and water to allow it to grow its own plants within the chamber. While SCP-7290's ability to manipulate plants can be useful in certain situations, such as agriculture or landscaping, the creature's aggressive behavior and lack of control over its powers make it too dangerous to be used for practical purposes. As such, it is to be contained and monitored at all times. In order to prevent SCP-7290 from causing damage to the surrounding environment, its containment chamber is regularly inspected for any signs of abnormal plant growth. Growth. The creature is also given a sedative to prevent it from using its abilities while not under direct observation. SCP-7290 is a highly anomalous and dangerous creature, whose abilities and behavior must be closely monitored at all times to prevent any potential breaches of containment or harm to human life. SCP-7291 is a zombie child that displays the typical physical characteristics of the undead, including decay and the presence of maggots in its flesh. SCP-7291 is capable of reanimating and controlling corpses within a radius of 10 meters around it. Additionally, SCP-7291 is immune to all forms of physical harm and can only be neutralized by destroying its brain. The child is also able to communicate telepathically and can manipulate the memories and emotions of living individuals within its range. SCP-7291 is capable of creating an army of zombies by infecting living individuals within its range with an unknown virus that causes the individual to become a zombie after death. The child's ultimate goal is unknown, but it is believed to be connected to its previous life and the circumstances surrounding its death. SCP-7291 was originally discovered in a small rural town where several residents had suddenly fallen ill and died, only to reanimate and attack other individuals. Foundation agents were sent in to contain the situation, and SCP-7291 was discovered to be the source of the outbreak. The child was contained and brought to Site-27 for further study and observation. SCP-7291 is capable of telepathically communicating with individuals within its range, though it rarely speaks. When questioned, SCP-7291 has displayed a demeanor that is both innocent and menacing, often responding with cryptic statements that are difficult to interpret. SCP-7291 is able to manipulate the memories and emotions of those within its range, causing intense fear and paranoia in its victims. This entity's ability to reanimate and control corpses has caused significant concern among Foundation personnel. The child is able to create an army of zombies that will obey its every command, making it a formidable threat if it were to escape containment. In order to prevent this, security protocols have been put in place to neutralize SCP-7291 in the event of a containment breach. The origins of SCP-7291 and the circumstances surrounding its original death are still unknown. Foundation researchers have attempted to uncover the child's past through various means, including hypnosis and memory retrieval, but have been met with limited success. 
SCP-7291 has displayed resistance to these methods, indicating that it may have a powerful defense mechanism that protects its past. SCP-7292 is a green dragon measuring approximately 10 meters in length and 3 meters in height at the shoulder. Its body is covered in thick, dark green scales, and it has a long, slender tail. SCP-7292 is extremely aggressive and territorial, and will attack any living organism that enters its territory. The creature's primary means of hunting is to ambush its prey and tear them apart with its powerful jaws and claws. SCP-7292's scales and bones are extremely durable, making it highly resistant to physical damage and most forms of conventional weaponry. SCP-7292's primary anomalous property is its ability to rapidly heal from injuries. The creature's cells are capable of regenerating at an accelerated rate, allowing it to fully recover from even the most severe injuries in a matter of minutes. This healing ability also extends to the regrowth of lost limbs and other body parts. SCP-7292's territorial range encompasses an area of approximately 20 square kilometers in a heavily forested region. The creature is extremely difficult to locate and track, as it is able to camouflage itself by changing the color and pattern of its scales to match its surroundings. SCP-7292's existence was first discovered by a team of hikers who stumbled upon its lair in the forest. The hikers were subsequently attacked by the creature, and several of them were killed before the Foundation was able to intervene. Since then, several attempts have been made to capture or neutralize SCP-7292 but all have proven unsuccessful. As the Foundation has not been able to successfully contain this creature it has been designated as Keter class. It is to be kept under heavy surveillance, and all entry into its territorial range is strictly prohibited without prior authorization from the Foundation. In the event of a containment breach or if the creature poses a significant threat to human lives, it is recommended to terminate SCP-7292 using high-yield explosives or anti-tank weaponry. SCP-7293 is a humanoid entity resembling a modern adult male, standing at approximately 1.8 meters in height and weighing approximately 70 kilograms. SCP-7293 is anomalously capable of surviving without sustenance or water for extended periods of time, and does not appear to age or deteriorate in any way. SCP-7293 is capable of producing a variety of sounds, including speech, music, and white noise. SCP-7293 will typically produce speech or music when it wishes to communicate, and will produce white noise when it wishes to remain silent. SCP-7293 is capable of understanding and speaking several languages, and is able to understand and carry out simple commands. SCP-7293 is highly cooperative with Foundation staff and willingly complies with testing, and containment procedures. SCP-7293 is also capable of producing a variety of colored light from its eyes, which it can use to communicate its emotional state or to communicate simple messages. SCP-7293 has been observed to be highly intelligent, able to engage in complex conversations, and possessing a vast knowledge on a variety of subjects. However, it has not been observed to engage in any physical activities that would have an impact or change to the environment, seeming to only observe and converse with the staff or other SCP entities in the site. SCP-7293 has been contained in a standard humanoid containment chamber at Site-6. The anomalous entity is allowed to leave its containment chamber for testing and interaction with other SCP entities, provided it is accompanied by at least one armed guard and is returned to its chamber at the conclusion of the interaction. SCP-7293 has shown an understanding and interest in human culture, literature and art, and is allowed to read books and access other educational resources as part of its containment protocol. It has been noted that SCP-7293 has a peaceful, contemplative nature and appears to be content with its containment and interaction with the staff. Overall SCP-7293 is classified as safe as it does not have a negative impact or any effects that may cause harm to the staff or the environment. It is an intriguing resource for the Foundation due to its unique abilities, knowledge and cooperative nature. SCP-7294 is an eerie humanoid entity that stands at approximately 2 meters in height and appears to be of human descent. It has a slim build and its skin is a pale white color. Its most notable feature is the lack of any discernible ears, nose, or mouth. Despite this, SCP-7294 is capable of vocalization and is able to communicate in various languages. SCP-7294's primary anomalous property is its ability to manipulate probability. The SCP can cause small, seemingly random events to occur within a certain radius of itself. These events can range from minor inconveniences, such as causing a lamp to flicker, to more severe incidents, such as causing a car accident. SCP-7294 is able to increase the likelihood of these events occurring, but it is not able to control the specific outcome. SCP-7294 is able to control the intensity of its probability manipulation and can limit the radius of its effect. However, it is stated that it cannot control the type of event that occurs. It also has no control over the events that it causes and has reported experiencing extreme distress when its abilities lead to negative consequences, such as harm to others.
SCP-7294 is cooperative with Foundation staff and has expressed a desire to assist in any way it can to mitigate the negative effects of its abilities. It has been observed that its probability manipulation ability is limited by its emotions. Anger and frustration tend to increase the range and intensity of its ability while emotions such as calmness and serenity decrease it. SCP-7294's origins are unknown, and it has provided little information about its past. It claims to have always had its abilities and to have lived a largely solitary existence, avoiding contact with others to prevent accidentally causing harm. SCP-7294 is currently contained in a standard humanoid containment chamber and is provided with reading materials and other activities to help alleviate its distress and keep it calm. Due to its abilities, special care must be taken to keep it from becoming agitated, as this can increase the probability of negative events occurring in the vicinity. The SCP Foundation's classification of entities SCP-7290 through SCP-7294 showcases the diverse and unusual nature of anomalous phenomena that the organization deals with. These SCP objects demonstrate the vast range of abilities and behaviors that can be exhibited by anomalous entities. It is also noteworthy that despite the potential danger posed by these entities, the Foundation has successfully implemented measures to contain and study them. The information available on these entities is limited and classified, adding to the mysterious and intriguing nature of the SCP Foundation's work. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more.